welcome back to my channel. This is Mattel from Mattel's Kitchen and today I'm actually filming from Tampa, Florida. I'm on a Passover vacation but I wanted to share with you this rice recipe for such a long time. So I'm filming this intro over here so you can have it as soon as Passover is over. So I eat rice probably on a daily basis. We love fresh, good, plain and simple rice. But there is a technique to it and today I'm going to show you all my secrets how I make my rice foolproof which I actually learned from a chef when I used to be a teenager and I used to work at a restaurant. So I loved to hang out in the kitchen and learn all the secrets and the technique how to make the best food and I love how sometimes it's only the simple steps that can get you to the best results. So why basmati rice? We're going to make it if you're excited. Let me know and all the measurements are going to be in the description box below so you can check it out. And if you need some help to get started with your healthier journey, check out my free ebook. It has some breakfast and brunch ideas that can help you get started. Okay, let's jump in to the recipe. We're going to start by transferring our white measured basmati rice into a bowl. We're going to take it to the sink and we're going to start to rinse the rice really well. I like to dip my hands into the water in order to help the starches remove from the rice. We're going to repeat this action about two to three times until all the water is nice and clear. We're going to transfer the rice into a colander give it one final rinse and we're gonna let it sit for five minutes. After five minutes, we're gonna take our favorite oil, I'm using olive oil over here, and we're gonna dump our rice into the pot. We're gonna season it with salt to taste and then we're going to take a wooden spoon and really start to toast the rice on medium heat. We want every grain to be really coated with the oil and we're going to wait until the texture becomes really toasted and nutty. We're then going to add hot boiling water to cover. We're going to give it one final mix and we're going to start to see that the water is starting to bubble. Once it bubbles, we're going to cover the pot for five minutes until it bubbles more and most of the rice becomes long and white and halfway cooked. And this is the time to lower the heat to a simmer. We're going to cover the pot and let it cook for 10 minutes more. After 10 minutes, we're going to let it sit for five minutes more. And then we're going to take a fork and we're going to start to fluff the rice. The rice should be really nice and airy and fluffy and so delicious. So we're going to give it good mix in order to make sure nothing is thick and we are ready to serve this beautiful rice. It is warm, it is fresh, it is delicious and you can serve it with anything. You can serve it with a stew, you can serve it with a curry or simply like I love to eat it with a fresh Israeli salad on the side and many times just as it is straight from the pot. It is delicious and I hope you're going to give it a try. That's it for today my friends. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're going to give this basmati rice a try. If you did, don't forget to let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for some more recipes that are easy, vegan, gluten-free and so good for you, check out my cookbook, Eggless Possibilities, where you can find so many meals that the whole family can enjoy. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.